back in the Halcyon days when I made movies for the Rosenfeld Gallery, I got to meet and film artist Georgiana Lenson. In the past year, working remotely, I've documented a number of artists and shows put on hold because of COVID. The artists send me images and audio files and I put them together. I heard Georgiana has an upcoming show and asked her to send me stuff, which she did. So the art show movie will begin shortly. But first, I just wanted to check up on her. And like many artists, so used to working alone in their studios, her pandemic news was good. Hi, Georgiana, how are you doing? I'm doing great, John. How are you? I'm excellent. <laughs> Uh oh, who's that? Ringo? They call him the Barking Melinda. What I'm trying to do is teach him to sing instead of bark. And so sometimes it works. It's been a two year process, but not often enough. So, how did you weather or are you weathering the pandemic? I was able to spend a lot more time just painting and doing things I love. And so the pandemic was great for me. Okay, so here we go. Take it away, Georgiana. My name is Georgiana Lenson. I'm a Philadelphia area painter. I graduated from Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. My upcoming show, Sticky Sweet, will be at the Crary Art Gallery and Museum in Warren, Pennsylvania. As the title suggests, the entire show will be dessert themed. And why desserts? I have been creating art and eating cakes as long as I can remember. As a child, the pretty colors and varied textures attracted me. And of course, the taste. As a painter, it's the infinite number of opportunities for painterly interpretation that the subject offers. Think about cake icing as sculptural impasto, or pie filling as a richly stained transparency. I mean, desserts offer an intensely rich visual experience, which is why I find them irresistible. An essential part of my process is creating 3D models of my subjects from paper or styrofoam or paint, or I take actual cakes and morph them into something other than what they were. The experience of handling these objects and being aware of their textures and their surface qualities and their temperature. It's a perceptual experience, an intersensory translation. I think it's absolutely necessary for how I paint. How I approach creating my sculptural models parallels how I approach my paintings. I've learned not to fight my disposition which is chaotic, and to trust in myself and in my process. I shouldn't use the word failure. Paintings that don't work are necessary to make paintings that do work. I do always work from nature, even if it's a rock, a stick, or a landscape, or a dessert. When I approach a canvas, I don't have a specific end in mind. I try to translate what I see into marks and colors. It's a lot of different applications to apply the paint or applicators to apply the paint. And I try to figure out order within that as I proceed. If it becomes too ordered, I will scrape it down or I will create disorder intentionally. My paintings are usually multi-layered. 
when I scrape down or create disorder, it's not to eliminate that layer. It's to create another chapter in the story. An emerging of different ideas. I think all of that adds to the complexity of the painted surface and to the story that goes along with the painting. Georgiana said that she hopes to paint about 90 of these and pick the 50 best for her show. They will range in size from a few inches to four feet. I asked her what will happen to the amazing 3D models she made. Well, as a matter of fact, they are allowing me to have a small table full at the, oh. at the show. So I will have a small table full. Normally I do have to get rid of them because most of them rot. Georgiana had a warning about these models for anyone who goes to her show. Please don't try to taste them. They may look sticky and sweet, but they are actually quite toxic and even worse for your health than real desserts. Have any creatures tried to eat your desserts? My dog, my dog. <laughs> my dog keeps thinking that there's something real there, so he's constantly investigating 